Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm caking an Easter candy mega cake. Look at all this Easter candy. Let's just say it's gonna be bunny-rific. I don't think that's a word. I just made it a word. Okay, I'm gonna get started. With your permission, of course. What do we name him? Don Bunny? Don bunny own. For this cake, I baked three seven inch round vanilla cakes and three eight inch round chocolate cakes. If you wanna see exactly how much batter was in each pan, you can click the I and go to my blog. My best friend's here. What are you doing now, Ron? I can't believe, you know, all the times he's here and he still has to ask me. You might have new viewers, you just got 4 million. Oh, hello new viewers. I'm removing the caramelization from the bottom of the cakes. <laughs> Let's see that again. <laughs> <laughs> New viewers, hi, me again. Since I don't have to cut the caramelization off the bottom of a chocolate cake, I'm just gonna level my three chocolate cakes to the same height that my vanilla cakes are. But Yolanda, why do you not have to cut the caramelization from the bottom of the chocolate cakes? Because you can't see it! The whole thing's one color. Ah! The next thing I'm going to do is cut circles out of my circular cake. So for this I made some templates. Another thing I enjoy. First, I'm gonna lay my six inch circle onto my seven inch round vanilla cake, and then I'm gonna use a sharp serrated knife to cut around it. You wanna try and hold your knife as straight down as possible and cut along the template. Ta-da! You can wear this as a choker, no. <laughs> now I wanna cut out the four inch circle and we wanna make sure it's centered. And then, don't forget your two inch circle. It is an adorable circle. It's really circle. an adorable circle. It's adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing with my chocolate cakes, this time keeping the outer circle. My VIPs already watched this video two days ago. You can see them in the comments, hashtag VIP squad. So if you like the sound of that, head to howtocakeit.com and sign up to be a VIP. Or maybe they're VIBs. Very important bunnies. Now I need to remove these cake rings and then alternate them in the layers to create a bullseye effect. The tricky thing is don't break the cake. So what's favorite, what's bullseye has to do with Easter? It doesn't, but when it's in, from above it will look like a bullseye, but when it's in the cake and we cut the cake, it will look striped. You know, <laughs> the traditional Easter bullseye. <laughs> Why did you leave the middle down here? That's where the candy's going. I'm gonna say something really foolish. Should I make another little cake beside it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Chad, he's, he's like fresh back in this kitchen. He's like, yeah, more cake! <laughs> it's settled, I'm making the main cake, the side cake. It's like Batman and Robin. <laughs> It's not a side kick, it's a side cake. Oh, and then should I ice all of these as mini I'm joking, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> it's time for Sir Squeeze to help me simple syrup these bullseye cakes. What was that, Sir Squeeze? Yes, that is Chet. Don't you remember him? I might have shared a hot dog with him once. <laughs> Sausage. Did you notice Sir Squeeze has had a makeover since you left? Like he is yeah. all over it. He thinks this is his show. He got a tattoo of it. It's time to color my Italian meringue buttercream a lovely shade of pink. I think I want it to match these Easter candies. How do we feel about it with the bullseye? Oh, it's awesome. Or hot? I think you can go darker. Oh, surprise, Orhan <laughs> wants to go darker. <laughs> Keep stirring. Ooh, Orhan, how's that pink? I'm going to spread this gorgeous pink Italian meringue buttercream onto the layers of my cake, but I don't want any of this buttercream to fall into my secret chamber. Sorry to interrupt you guys. I just wanted to remind you, I will be at the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo in Miami from April 26th to 28th. I'll be hosting my very first in real life workshop. Woo! That's work with an E. You can recreate my popular cheeseburger novelty cake right next to me. I'll walk you through it. 
Then we'll go to the beach. All the tools and supplies you need will be provided and you can get all of your caking questions answered by me. But here's the thing, it's limited. There's only 25 spots available. How many spots are available? 25 spots. <laughs> yeah! Registration for my cheeseburger cake workshop is now open, so hurry up and secure your spot. Register in the link in the video description. That's right. how you hurry in Miami. Oh. Like this. Excuse me, palm trees. <laughs> Busy going to a cake workshop. Where's my drink? I'm filling the secret chamber of my larger cake with jelly beans and the secret chamber of my smaller cake with gummy bunnies. I'm just cutting a little like, almost like a cork <laughs> from the middle circle. Make sure to do it in the right color. And then a chocolate cork. These bunnies are causing me trouble. Okay, good. That worked out. It's time. No, to... no, no. Just do it to the bunny. It's time to crop code. No. <laughs> That's not fair. You have to do it properly. It's time to crop coat and chill. This bunny has evil eyes. Now I'm gonna crumb coat and chill both cakes with plain Italian meringue buttercream. Now that my crumb coat is chilled, I'm gonna ice this cake. I'm gonna use a bench scraper to help me get my sides nice and smooth. I'm crumb coating, chilling, and icing my smaller cake the exact way that I am my larger cake with Italian meringue buttercream. It's my favorite time. I'm going to paint all of these chocolates with metallic luster dust because that's how I do Easter from now on. This is gonna be more of like a punchy Easter cake. This is like Easter just punched you in the face. I like to use makeup brushes when I'm painting dry luster onto anything. There's less brush marks. You don't want your bristles, you wouldn't wanna use a hard bristle brush that will kind of dig into the chocolate. And all you wanna do is dab some on your chocolate and brush it. What's great about painting chocolate is because it's, well, fatty. This sort of powder and luster sticks to it well. We don't have to put anything on before. That's cool. Oh my God, look at great, how eh? well coated it is. Like, oh man. That covers everything. This one has the best coverage. I wonder why. That's so interesting to me. How to Cake It has a surprising and sweet Easter Treats ebook available now. It includes a secret video. Click the link below to get your copy. I cleaned up all the luster dust and I feel much better now. I'm going to be placing all of my lustered chocolate on top of my cakes, but before I do that, I wanna spray paint the sides of my cakes with some edible spray paint. I have yellow, pink, and of course, gold. Just go for it, go for it. He says from afar. <laughs> oh, that is awesome and I love it. Okay, hold on, I think I'm gonna do, I, I just changed my mind. I'm gonna spray yellow up at the top. Oh! So if you get too heavy, you'll see it running. Wow, look at my luster encrusted nails. Oh. What? Oh, that looks so sweet. I actually kind of like how it yeah, looks. Yeah, that's a gray pattern. That's actually dope. So I did a bit of a relief pattern using a soft facial tissue to pick up the paint. And now I've decided I wanna go darker. So I'm gonna respray yellow, pink, and then gold, and then go back in with my soft tissues. Let's do it. Pink. Gold. Oh, it, it looks yellow. 
This is not gold enough for me. I've never been so disappointed in a gold. <laughs> Yeah, you, it like... Should I put more pink over I that? Think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Tissues. Oh, I'm gonna do this. That's nice when it's all crumpled up. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I feel like I'm sponge painting right That's now. That's really cool. Oh, I see who's yeah. spreading that in. That's oh, so you... cool. Hey, Don Benelius, are you gonna share this video? I figured you know every bunny in the world. Every bunny in the world. Can you share it? That would be really helpful. What do you think would happen if I bit him? He might bite your bit. So I'm gonna do this cake, mostly yellow. <laughs> this looks around waiting for approval. I want like claps or something. Yeah, it's no, basically, it's speech. poor gold, right? <laughs> it's, this is just destitute gold. I'm going to call this cake liquid sunshine. <laughs> Next, I'm going to move my cakes to cake stands and top them with chocolate. So, Orhan, I need your hand. Chet, do you know that we call Orhan the how to kick it hottie? Oh, I guess he's the original, right? Yes, I'm sorry, Orhan has taken your place. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Enough excitement for today? <sighs> yes. It's time to place all of my chocolates onto my cakes. I've decided to put blue and purple on this cake and then I think I'll go like green and pink on this cake. Who knows what I'll do? You have three cameras. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Not that I know what I'm doing, but here I go. <laughs> okay, I might have to cut this stick, sorry. It's because the jelly beans are in the way. I didn't even think about the center, sorry. I feel like each cake deserves a golden bunny, right? Sure, sure. This is like the Oscar of bunnies. Is he back here? Yes. Yes. The bow tie bunny is clearly like the hipster bunny. Aww. He's trying to change Easter, right? That grandpa bunny is looking a little, it might be one of his descendants. <laughs> He's yeah. like, it's what Easter. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna switch to the smaller cake now. This is a marriage. Yes, the golden bunny was married to the green bunny, but she's obviously become more successful at Easter. <laughs> so there's tension. Oh, the baby bunny! Is that the um, That's the tw twin? Yes, this is the adopted twin. Now I'm gonna add a ring of coconut down around the bottom of each cake, kind of like a nest. Yeah, there's eggs, a nest, makes sense. And then some colorful jelly beans here and there. watching guys and don't forget to check out our new step-by-step -step video you can click over the bunnies <laughs> and I will see you next week I need to go downstairs to the bunny basement <laughs> <laughs>